Do you like that we're ready? Okay, we're going to go any time now. For this interview today, we need some music to sort of set the scene. Uh, you should recognize it. Today we're talking with one of the nicest men in America. For about 30 years now, he's been hosting Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. We're talking, of course, about Mr. Rogers, and he's with us via satellite from New York. Well, good day, Mr. Rogers. Good day to you, Laurie Ann. You know, the How first, are things there? Uh, just fine. The first Great. thing I have to ask you is this. How many pairs of those tennis shoes have you gone through in 30 years? <laughs> <laughs> I have to know this. I, I couldn't count them, but I do wear the same kind and I buy them each year. I usually buy a pair a year when I go up to Nantucket in the summer. And there's this one store I go into and they say, he's back for his tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you must buy them by the crate. <laughs> no. You know, it is so amazing to think that one person has done a television show for three decades. What is your secret? Why do the children love you so much? Well, I wonder if, if maybe you know the answer to that already because of the work that you do. Don't you find that when you're honest with somebody that uh, that person really is interested in being with you? I find that uh, the greatest gift you can give anybody is one more honest adult in that person's life whether it be a child or another adult. That's a good point. But you know, a lot of people uh, have said about you that you have this uncanny ability to know what is in a three-year-old's mind, a four-year-old's mind, a five-year-old's mind. You know what they're thinking and how to relate to them. Do you really believe that's sort of a, a God-given gift that you have that not everybody has? Well, I've had some wonderful instruction in my life. I've worked with some of the very best people who know children best, and I'm grateful for that. And I'm also grateful for the children that I've worked with. You know, I, I did the uh, master's program in child development at the University of Pittsburgh, and under the supervision of Dr. Margaret McFarland, I've been able to work with children, and they have shared with me some of their inmost thoughts and I've learned greatly from children. So consequently, I respect them greatly. Tell me honestly how you feel about people like um, Johnny Carson, Eddie Murphy, uh, sort of making fun of your show and, and your mannerisms. Does it bother you at all? Well, Lorianne, they've told me, both of them have told me, that if they didn't care about me, they wouldn't do that at all. They said, you know, if people didn't know you, and we didn't really have an affectionate feeling for you, we'd never do what we do. And so I take that as the truth. I remember uh, Eddie Murphy just putting his arms around me and saying, the real Mr. Rogers. <laughs> that must be very flattering for you too. Now a lot of people may not know that you also write books. And you have two books out for children. I'm going to hold them up here. One of them is called Moving that helps get children through moving experiences. It can sometimes be very painful. And the yes. other one, which I guess goes hand in hand with that, is called Making Friends. And I assume it tells children how to make friends uh, after moving to a new neighborhood. Well, these are uh, books uh, that are part of a series called First Experience Books uh, that we've been writing for, for Putnam. And this is number five and six in that series. So there are lots of different first experiences in the lives of children that I'm hoping these books will be used as uh, a stimulation for family communications. If parents will read these books to their children, and there's very little print on the page, mostly big pictures, it gives them a chance to have the children either ask questions about what's going on or tell their parents what's on their minds. You might be very surprised as you listen to your children as they're dealing with such things as a new baby in the home or learning to go to the potty or going to the doctor. All kinds of first things in life that parents can learn from too. You know, that's what I was going to say. I assume that you get a lot of nice mail from parents saying, thank you for helping me through this tough time. How many more years do you think you can go with the show? You've done 30 already. Oh yes, well we'll go as long as we have the, uh, as long as we have the opportunity, Laurieann. Well thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And we'll be back with more Crick and Chase in just a minute, so don't go away.